This place, it's so ominous. Whatever shall we do? Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Metroid Prime. Last time, we got ourselves another artifact. A wild artifact, in fact. In fact, a fact, a fact. This time, we're gonna make ourselves... Uh, make ourselves? No, we're gonna make our way to the... The antechamber? Yeah, our next destination, which is gonna be the antechamber. And on the map, it said it's really cold there for some reason. We'll find out why sooner or later. But for now, I got three new Chozo lores. And then I'm going to blow this motherfucker up if you didn't already learn that. that, like that, that uh, learn that strat. And I guess we're going to have to scan this to see what's up. That activates something. All right. So this little puzzle we're about to do is going to get ourselves another missile pack. Yeah, whoop de doo Like, we don't really have enough of those. But if you want to get all the missile packs and get 100%, it is required. And yes, you're gonna have to do get really good at the at this whole boost ball thing. Otherwise, you are gonna be wasting your time, bruh. You gotta get yourself all the way up there and hold down and make sure you hold down R when you get close so you can lock onto that that fucking thing up there. Cause otherwise you'll be Oh, come on. Ah god, I swear sometimes some some days I'm really good at this and some days I just can't fucking catch a break. Oh come on. We're so close. There it is. There it is. Yeah, okay. Whew. Yeah, make sure you hold down that R button. Otherwise, you, you'll you forget to attach to this fucking spider ball slot. Anyway, that leads us to the other side, which, hey, we get to do the whole thing over again. Hopefully, we can do it in as many tries or less as I just did it to that one in. Let's hope so. Let's hope so, shall we? Oh, that was close. Almost got it. Almost got it. Yeah! All right, cool. Now... Make sure you get ready for this because you gotta do it quick. Otherwise, you gotta do it again. See this little elevator that drops down? You gotta get your ass on there as within like a second. Oof, look how close that is. You literally get about a second to do that. When you land, you gotta put yourself right on that elevator. And Kablawi, another missile pack. Para me, para me. And I don't think there's anything else up here, is there? No, this is just a dead end where all you get is a missile. Woohoo for us. Woohoo for us. And to add insult to injury, we get to do the boost ball one more time just to get back up to the other side. And that's all for this room. Yay for puzzle rooms like that. Super fun. And actually, even though I'm saying it sarcastically, rooms like that really are super fun. Like, just to trying to figure those room, these kind of rooms out for the first time is actually a really... It really is fun. Like, if you don't have fun trying to figure out puzzles in rooms, I don't know what to tell you, but you need to get a brain. Seriously? Fuck your shooting Call of Duty bullshit. There's plenty of that in this game, but if the, the, the beauty of this game is the puzzles that kind of get integrated in. Anyway, we're here in the Hall of Elders, which looks pretty damn epic, right? Well, as soon as you walk in, we're locked in. And speaking of being locked in, can we... Oh, I gotta scan this still. Finally got to scan these locked doors. But anyways, it goes dark, scary music kicks in, and guess what we're fighting again? Chozo Ghost. Own that first Chozo Ghost. He did not die, though. Ah, uh, Chozo Ghost. I don't remember which one. Okay, cool. It was that one. I was going to say, I don't know which one I hit with the super missile. Oh, there was only one? I thought there was two. Well, I can't complain. But anyways, for defeating the Chozo Ghost, there was only one in this room. He uh, makes the lights turn back on and unlocks that little guy's hands are all shiny now. Before I do dealt with that, though, I wanted to get that Chozo lore. And I think there's another one in here? No, there's only that one. That's it. Okay. So, oh, ooh, ooh, I'll take that. Oh, I guess I didn't need that. Another white door in here. Actually, two more white doors. But anyway, so our only goal, or uh, I should say, the only thing we can do right now is jump in his hand and turn into a morph ball. Now, this little thing that's happening right here is reminiscent of a something that happens in Super Metroid, actually. Oh, 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 ooh, I almost forgot to press the button. It's all right. We made it work. We made it work. But yeah, in Super Metroid, there's a part where you do that exact same thing. You you uh, turn to a morph ball inside the Chozo statue's hands, and it rolls you like it either rolls you or it carries you. I think it carries you actually, something like that. All right, so now that that happened, uh, we can jump back up to there. You'll notice when we did that, we activated three different color thingies, and goddamn it, I always forget that I can jump up higher in this room. I'm always thinking that I need to do something different. But all you gotta do is just jump. You'll notice these three things that activated. 
One is the color of red, the one is the color of white, and one is the color of purple. Color coordinated for your weapons. The only one we are allowed to activate, or I should say we are able to activate at this current moment in time, is that one. Right rope. And by changing, or I should say by, uh, yeah, by hitting that thing, by blowing up different color ones, it opens up a new path via this morph ball thing that we used with the Chozo statue. So basically, you'll be bowling with Chozo statues till the re for the rest of your days. Now, the reason to do that for this room is if we want to continue on into the next area, we gotta let them bowl us for victory. I don't think I have to. Yeah, I don't have. I didn't have to spider ball that time. But anyways, anytime you want to activate a different path, you have to go back and reactivate it up there by the color coordinated balls, because every time you use it, it gets reactivated. Just mental note that for future use. Anyways, that bypasses. Now we can get up here to this area. And up here is actually a way to deactivate this shield. So you'll never have to use that morph ball path again. Now actually in this room, isn't there another... There is another door over here that I completely missed. And it's actually an interesting room that should be shown ASAP. And it's... Wait, is it in here? Oh, maybe it is in here. Oh, it is. Okay. A little side room over here. If you scan what this is, this is actually a missile station and if you walk into this it'll refill all your missiles which I actually should have went in here before I even fought that Chozo ghost uh, I guess I didn't really need the missiles did I I had like I had like a whole bunch of missiles it only took me one super missile to take that bitch out so it wasn't a big deal anyway as I was saying now that we have opened up that little shield though up here to get back up you just gotta jump jump and you're right back up so you never have to actually use the the bowling ball thing again. So where is this going to lead? We are getting ever closer to the antechamber. How much further must we go? Where we'll stop, nobody knows. What do we got in here? We got the drainage shut off. What? How are we supposed to drain this? Well, this one took me a while to figure out, but you actually have to go in the pool, turn into a ball, and blow up the drain. The most simplest of logic, yet you wouldn't think to do that based on what you've done so far in Metroid Prime. Next thing you want to do is you want to kill all these stone toads, which I've shown you what stone toads are before, I believe, and you just let them slurp you up and then you just you just morph ball the shit out of them. That's pretty much all you need to know. And I'm just getting rid of them so they're out of my way. They're, killing them all doesn't affect anything. What you really want to do is you want to get one of these upper ones to grab you so you can get up to the next floor. And if you did, if you don't see them up here, up there. You'll see them eventually when they, one of them finally grabs me. Come on, grab me, bitch. You know you wanna. You know you wanna. Come on, stop being a noob. Stop being a noob, Funky. There it is. All right, we're in. We're in there. And is there anything else we need to do in here at the moment? Or are we just... I think we're just... We're just gonna blow up this door. And see what's inside. Uh, okay, this isn't the room I thought it was. But I'll use the save point anyways. This is where the... This is the part I actually wanted to get to last episode, but... I knew I was going to have to fight more Chozo ghosts and do the bowling thing and the puzzle thing that I started this episode off with. And there was no way in hell I was going to fit all that into the episode. Actually, I want to go to the other side. Can I make it? Yeah. Pro, st pro strat jump. Pro strat. This is the room we want because now we acquire. Should I say it or should I let it happen? I think I should just let it happen. Now we acquire the ice beam, bruh. We got ourselves another beam already? Awesome! And by the way, this is probably... Uh, I was going to say this is my favorite beam, but only because this was the last beam I got when I first played this game. And then I took my long break that I talked about a long time ago. Like, when I first played this game and I took a long break and all that, this was the point I'd get to. Or, did I say the point I got to? No, I know the point I got to. I haven't said it yet. But this was the last beam I got in the game when I took my long break. So I was really enjoying this ice beam. The only downside to it to me is that it shoots slowly, but otherwise it's a fantastic weapon. Now I don't think it works very well against Chozo Ghosts, which, oh big surprise, we're going to have to fight a Chozo Ghost again. I told you every time you're going to go through these rooms where they do spawn, you got to fight them again. And this time we get to fight three, super fun. Wait, what the hell? How come my super missile went through him? That wasn't cool. Boom, bitch. See you block that shit. Missile, missile. There it is. Oh my god. Come on. Die. 
All right, I think I got all three of them actually with the super missile. So now I just gotta bust them up to finish them off. And I'm glad I scanned these guys already because normally I have a tough time scanning one of those guys. I always forget because I'm always in a frantic mood when I see them and I want to kill them as quickly as possible. I guess every time you come in here, maybe they just respawn or there's more of them when you come in here for a reason. Like, cause now I'm coming back in here so I can activate that and go ahead and use our, our newly acquired path that we can open with our newly acquired beam, the ice beam. Before I got so rudely interrupted, I was going to say the ice beam is my favorite beam that I remember. That's because you could freeze most enemies and then when you freeze them, if you shoot them again, they just blow up and die. You don't have to like repeatedly just mash the button to kill things with the regular, like you do with the regular power beam. You just ice beam to death. Ice beam them to death. It's pretty awesome. Anyway, where is this guy going to lead me on my f third path, I guess it's the third one? Third different one. He's going to send me into a room that has the seventh. That's right, I said seventh. Energy tank. Biatch! Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Seventh energy tank. What you going to do, brother? Anyway, you just go back out the way you came. And there you go. The best part about these paths is you never really have to use them ever again if you don't want to. But they're always accessible if you really want. There's only one more path left. Can you guess where it's going to lead us? Well, I guess you can't guess where it's going to lead. Now, do I want to go in any of these side doors? I don't think so. I think these side doors just lead to, lead to areas that don't have anything good for me to do right now. Like, what does this one go to? Just so I'm double checking. Uh, where does this one lead? Yeah. Just a couple of doors that lead back to rooms I've already been, and they're just quicker ways to get there, I guess, maybe? I don't know. I'm not going to worry about it right now. Definitely not on my docket of things to do right now. Right now, we're going to head back over to that reflecting pool area where them toads were eating me up like gobbledygooks. And we're going to get back up to that top area and head in the other door that I didn't go in yet because there's still one door that I avoided. We won't be avoiding it anymore. Come on, Stone Toad. Not you. Not you, Stone Toad. I want the second floor, Stone Toad. Not you. Not you. Eat me. Eat me for breakfast. Eat me for lunch. Eat me for dinner, Stone Toad. You are the Captain Crunch. I, I just wanted to rhyme. It absolutely made no sense whatsoever. God damn it. I thought I was going to get him that time, but... Say la bay. There it is. There it is. All right, now that we're back up here, you know what? I want to hit that save point again, maybe. Yeah, you know, you know what? I will just because, just because. Actually, actually, I said I wanted to check that other door, but you know what? I think this is actually the path I want to take. The reason why I say that, you probably see this, but there's a little, there's a little morph ball hole right here, and it leads to. Let's leave you in suspense. Another transporter. And this is actually where we do want to go. For some reason, I was thinking I wanted to go the other way. But I was incorrect. This is the way I would like to go. And this is going to be a really cool um, like path, uh, route. This is going to be a really cool route to take. Because this is going to lead us back to the Talon Overworld, if you didn't read where it said I was going. And it's going to lead us to a spot on the Talon Overworld we haven't been to before. If you'll notice on the map, there's no areas around us. Well... That will quickly make sense. Now, is this new? This guy isn't new, right? That's just a gamer. That's just a stilly gamer who wants to get super missile. Yes, he does. Gamer? I know, you don't need to super missile him. I just I overkilled him for fun. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Back off, homie. Back off, homie. Back off, homie. I did scan these blast caps, right? Like, I'm just double checking because sometimes. When I take these breaks in between my recording sessions, I'm like, did I do that already? Did I do that already? Now, where's the next? I think the next thing I'm going to get is actually in this room right here. Oh, and it's an obvious one. I don't even have to explain it. It's right there. Ah, uh, screw you. Screw you. I just want the missile pack. For some reason, I thought the missile pack was like in a hidden spot, but no, it was just right along the path. No things necessary. Some missile packs in this game are like that. We just gotta see them and grab them. Okay, so now we are in the frigate crash site, which is a friggin' awesome area. Now, oh, I know what I did wrong there. Best way to take out 
these these flying bastards now is to freeze them and one missile will explode them best combination ever use the metroid killing technique by that i mean the metroid killing technique that has worked for thousands of generations anytime you see a metroid you freeze that bitch and hit him with missiles until he dies that's pretty much been the strategy for killing killing metroid since the beginning of time Anyway, you'll notice that this area that I'm in right here is fucking huge on the map. I'll show you the map here in a second. Right now I'm stuck underwater because right now underwater is pretty much the bane of my existence. Going slow forever. I want to make myself over, I want to get over here to the shore. Kill these little flying butt pirates. Back here, you flying butt pirate. You can't hide from me. I'll get you next time, Batman. Or is it Gadget? Gadget. I'll get you next time, Gadget. Something like that. Whoa, 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 what is that shit? What the hell was that shit? This crate appears to be the same type of container found on the space fire research frigate. Imperial sleeping out of the continent. It's known as Phazon. Huh. What is this Phazon and why does it hurt me? Key component to Metroid Prime. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Anyways, I believe this is the next way we want to go because this is the only other way I can go right now. The only other option I had was another door that was actually underwater, but that would be pointless because going underwater is not cool. It's not cool. Not cool at all. Pretty much the only reason I went this way was to get that missile pack and uncover some new stuff on the map, and it's pretty much the shortest route to get to the next area that we want to get to, which, if you were wondering, which I'm wondering myself, where the hell do I want to go to next? I want to go to there... And I want to go to there, I think. Yeah, that's where I want to go. I'm just trying to remember where I want to go. This is the, kind of like the optimum time to say I'll meet you there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the fuck? Like, okay, well, glitched. Glitch, glitch-tastic. Glitch-tastic. Glitch-tastic 4. Actually, this is like an optimum time to say I'll meet you there. Fuck it. I'll just go there. I don't know how much more we're going to get done in this episode even when we get there. So let's just take the time to get there and enjoy the scenery. I mean, if I always fast travel so to speak then we will never get to enjoy the beautiful landscape of this game wait did I have I scanned one of those guys before I feel like I haven't scanned those guys those guys I didn't scan these guys wow I feel dumb well anybody who happened to be watching this game and didn't notice that I didn't scan those guys you're fired because you're supposed to remind me of stuff I miss I don't know if anybody's paying wait oh the reason why you didn't point this out to me is because I shouldn't be going this way yet. That's why. My fault. Sorry. Well, I'm showing you an area that I didn't mean to go to yet. That's an area that, uh, obviously has been accessible for a while. I didn't even require double jump to get there. I just made it easier. I'm stupid. I'm just going the wrong way. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Just going to an area that's completely pointless. Those of you who do know what that area is, uh... You know why there's no reason to go there quite yet, other than just small things you can see, but they really serve no purpose to you at this point in the game, other than just more information if you want it. And I don't really care to see that information, because right now it's just a waste of my goddamn time. Shoot your green bullshit at me. See if I cur. Oh man, I really feel like I should have just met you at the next area that I want to go to, because this is just a long trek to a place that... Uh, you've seen before. Oh no, not beetles! Hey, hey, we're the beetles! People say we beetle around. Just mishmash two songs from hella long ago. You wish you could do that, but you can't like me. Sucks to be you, cause you can't be me. <laughs> ah, the best bragging song ever. I feel like I feel so chameleon air right now. Chameleon air. I guess since we are going to the Magmore Caverns, I was thinking I was I should just meet you at the next place, but actually in the Magmore Caverns, we're going to go through a new area that we haven't gone through before, and that's why I went to this teleporter. I was thinking, why did I come to this transport again? Because if you recall, there was two ways to go in this transport room, and I ignored this one at first. Now we will not do, do the ignoring. We will actually check this room out, because we have the spider ball, which will allow us to traverse this room without getting our ass kicked by the lava. I think we actually could have went through this room without having the spider ball you can just jump through the lava and just tank it basically this game you can really tank through the lava areas i remember doing that a lot in my first playthrough of this game i skipped through a lot of this magma caverns 
just not knowing where the hell I was going, just blowing up shit willy-nilly. Blowing up shit? No, tanking shit. Tanking shit to the point where I was just getting to, like, parts I shouldn't even be at. Alright, so in this room, we're going to get a new thing we can scan. No, no, wait. No, it's not. We've already scanned it, Slagtite. What am I saying? Well, it's not new, then. Fine. But it is a new, another thing we can do. Which is hit that fool with a thangy. And it blows up, and it drops down. And now we here. Now we add it. Now we add it. Now, where's the next thing we can scan? It's not until the next couple rooms from now. I was thinking that there was something to scan in one of these rooms, but I'm thinking too far ahead. For now, we just want to blow the heads off of every magmar we see because it's fun. And that's what we do. It's what I do. My music is cutting out of me again. Goddamn headphones. I can't wait till I get my first paycheck so I can buy a new headset already. This headset is pissing me the fuck off. And it's not even the headset's fault, I don't think. And if it is the headset's fault, then fuck this headset. But what I think it is is just the the jack of these both of my laptop and the laptop I'm using to record. Both of them have jacked up jacks for the for the mic. So I, I just need to get a new microphone. That one that I can plug in through the USB so I can like do my own adjustments to it. Those are just so much more reliable. I guess reliable is the word I'm looking for. Modifiable, reliable, whatever. Anything that plugs through USB is usually more better anyways. More better, I said it. Die, you sons of beesh. You might be wondering, how do you cross here? Well, look up, bitch. There's another stalactite. Slagtite? Slagtite. Sounds good to me. Let's cross this beast. And yes, all of this can be completely just skipped through if you just want to tank it by jumping through the lava. Lava doesn't kill you that fast, but it only kills you really fast as if you sit in the lava for too long. I should be using the ice beam more. The ice beam kicks some ass in here. Here's the new enemy I was talking about, or thinking about, I should say. This is the bitch I was thinking of, the Puddle Spore. These guys, only thing you can really do with these guys is waste a missile on them, which was completely an accident pressing the wrong button. What you want to do is you just want to hit them, so they're, basically you hit them, they flip over so you can jump on the top of them, or you can completely miss your jump and jump right in the lava like I just did. Now, I pretty much was wasting my time um, making sure I shoot those guys. Just I was just kind of showing you their their function. Because I can easily just jump past them by by just going via the lava and tanking it. Which is what I plan on doing a lot of the time. Like right there was an accident, but it doesn't matter. I got seven energy tanks, bro. It doesn't matter. Alright, this room. This fucking room. And I'm not talking about these guys I'm shooting, which I'm completely missing right now. Oh my god. Stop noobing it up, Joe. Joe? Did I call myself Joe just now? Bro? Bro, Joe? Can we... Huh? Fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh my god. That was like the most ridiculous fight with douchebags ever. Anyway, in this room, there's another energy tank. But to get to it, we're going to have to do a little bit of a puzzle. It's not a very difficult puzzle, but it is a puzzle nonetheless. How do we start this puzzle? I don't remember. Do we scan this thing? Um, do we blow that thing up? I honestly am blanking right now. Do we blow it up? Do we motherfuck that shit up? Um, I'm not 100% sure. Alright, what do I blow up? I know I blow up something. Right? Scan something, blow up something, morph ball something. Maybe I just have to go down here. I honestly am blanking on what to do. Why? Must I, okay, maybe you do just go down here. Ah, uh, not you, not you, not you. Suck on that, you triclops bastard. Alright, now we don't have to deal with those assholes. But actually, I think these are all dead ends. They are. Okay, well that was pointless. What the fuck do I have to activate to, to turn off the lava? I swear you have to scan something. Maybe you have to blow something up? Damn it. Ah, why can't I remember... Come on. I can't end the episode here. I have to I gotta figure out what to do here. Okay, this is the way, right? There, oh, okay, that's the energy tank. That's where the energy tank is. We'll be getting to that in a moment. But where the fuck? That's the way I came. Why am I not remembering how to do this? I know it ain't this difficult. 
What does it do? What happens when I scan this one? West channel door sealed. Just keep my scan visor open. We'll see something. East channel door sealed. Okay. West, east, north, all sealed. What the fuck do I supposed to blow up? I'm like so blinking right now. I feel dumb. But it is currently not receiving power. Not receiving power. Ah! Now I remember. That's all I had to read. Not receiving power. We gotta activate these goddamn glyphs. That's what we have to do. I knew there was something about this that I was forgetting. I mean, when in doubt, try every single thing you have. And I was the one thing I wasn't trying was my goddamn thermal visor. Then again, why would you try a thermal visor when you're in the hottest fucking area in the game? Who the fuck knows? That activates that. And yes, I am going to take the time to get these, get that missile tank, or energy tank first. I'm not going to stop yet. I want to get this room over with. Whoa, why did the music get all different all of a sudden? Why did it get all different all of a sudden? We're not on a timer or anything, at least not yet. That was strange. Whatever, I do what I want. Maybe go in these rooms, and I believe we just scan this. Yep, and that'll open up a door. And basically, we just wash, rinse, repeat that, and it'll get us kind of just go circularly around the room until we get to the room with that energy tank. And that, oh, oh, but you are on a timer, so you want to be quick. That part I almost forgot. The timer doesn't start till you till you hit that first switch, though. And it's it's I think it's a reasonably reasonably um, what's the word I'm looking for? Reasonably friendly timer. It doesn't. It's not the hardest thing you got to time as long as you know what you're doing and where you're going. It gives you a pretty good amount of leeway on the timer. You're not like about to die at all times. You're not in super peril if you're too slow. It's a very generous timer as I call it. Wait. Oh. 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 Don't fuck up. Don't fuck up. Don't fuck up. I just don't want to have to waste your time and mine trying to do this shit. Let's just get this energy tank and be a happy camper. Oh. Get it. Get it you bitch. Yeah. That gives us eight energy tanks, which is crazy insane, like I ain't got no brain. But I do. I got that brain. You know. All right. So, where to go in this room? I think we just go to the top of the room, and there's this door, I think, which is the door we haven't gone in. Yep. Actually, is this the right door? Wait, no, this isn't the right door. There's another door in here I think I can go to. Or wait, 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 wait. Where am I? Wait, wait, what room are we in? I don't know. Let's try the let's just try the purple door. It's either the blue door or the purple door. I know which which room I want to get to. Which room is this? Yeah, okay, this is the right way. Purple door it is. Purple door it is. I don't care. Go ahead and burn me. See if I cur. See if I cur. Open. Open sesame. Okay then. Oh, actually, before we hit on this this teleporter. Let's go ahead and see where our next destination is going to be. It is going to lie in Fendrana Drifts, the gravity chamber. Can you guess what we're going to get in the gravity chamber? Every room, like special room we're supposed to go to, the, clue, the, the thing we're going to investigate there always gives you like a clue of the next item you're going to get. So we're going to go investigate the gravity that's all fucked up in the gravity chamber. What could we possibly be getting in that room? I don't know. I guess we'll just have to find out next time on Let's Play Metroid Prime. See you guys then. Peace.